get little bites. Sort of sharks, spiny dogfish, and small toads sort of chewing at it. But nothing, uh, nothing huge yet. Uh, well, I hope that's going to improve as we get near the top of the tide and the light starts to go. So we've got plenty of bait left. Fingers crossed. That's what's been stealing my bait, that's a bloody spiny dogfish. Look what he's done to the white head though. They're a bloody pain in the ass. They're a bloody pain in the ass. Them spines. What's these spines look? Spine there. Another little one there. Oh. Been nicking my bloody bait, man. Oh, been nicking my bloody bait. What I want to do is just move the scales a bit so you don't sort of crush the flesh as you cut with the scissors. These are very sharp. Just more bait have I got left? another hour to go or, or so. That's all I do. I sometimes just throw in the scraps. Just a bloody seagulls. Um, just to act a little bit of a burly. I'm not one for burly, I'm messing around doing burly. However, um, it is effective for bringing them in. But 
I like to just to bring them in with a decent weight. I'm feeling my trade just for any, um, I've had a lot of pesky fish. Just feeling for any sort of major abrasion. There's a bit of chafe in there, but nothing like, um, nothing deep. Just very, very light sort of, um, sort of roughness. And, it's, and, that, and that lead is okay. Still got it straight. Got quite a nice coat in this leader anyway. Just sort of abrasion and things. But there's no, there's no like, um, you're looking for like a kink. If I was to land a reasonable fish and there was any sort of, you know, proper sort of teeth marks in it, then I'd just cut it off and put another, another a fresh one on. But I've still got a strength, so. letting it settle down and we're just winding the line ever so slowly so it tightens up to the grapnel lead and the lead just bites into the sand with our bait loose. These breakers are sometimes um, catching, oh, the, uh, catching the, um, the line and causing aggravation plus the pesky fish as well but, um, and, causing, and causing it to drag and to move a little bit which is not ideal. I like to tighten up this lever, but uh, there's a bit of uh, river weed as well coming down. If you're getting a few pesky bites, just, just leave it. Make sure you've got plenty of bait on. Just leave it. There's always a chance that either a, pre a bigger fish will, will go after the, um, the pest. Again, if you're getting a few, a few, just a few, a few, a few little knots and bites, bites there, but it's uh, not the idea. If you want to go after a tope shark, you've got to fish fish baits. The, the ideal way would be to live bait. But you need to um, have the energy for it if you're going to do something like that. I've already been fishing for like four days, so I ain't starting doing live bait now. But you can balloon live, live bait on a night like this, possibly. If you just send out the live bait on a bridal rig, instead of it drift out, and, um, and you can get it 100 yards offshore.
coinings. They are fucking bloomin' nuisance. That's what they are. See, a live bait would admit, mitigate all this, um, all these pesky fish. job sometimes to get the fucking hook out. Chafe marks on that, if you can see that. Still a few chafe marks on there. But they're not deep, they're just. That line's still got pretty much a full strength. You'll know when you need to replace it because it'll have some proper, proper gaps in it. Well, I always feel for the length of the hook still sharp, razor sharp. These stones and sand blunt than this, so it's good to have a sharpened stone, if you haven't, just snip it off and tie on a fresh hook. It's got to be razor sharp, absolutely razor. It's a different thing getting a hook up and not. It's all still good. So, try, try and put stuff back in your tackle box, because um, it's easy to lose stuff. yesterday. I've had two I've had two today, but it's been a, it's been a, it's been more difficult. I'm trying to think what I was doing different. Yesterday 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 I didn't have any fixed leads. Today I brought some fixed leads because I like fishing fixed leads. I was fishing a two ounce rolling sinker. Um, a bomb sinker run and rig. Picked up five. So this is anchoring the bait and um, the pesky fish are just nailing it, so it makes you wonder whether we should be. But it's just too, too awkward to fish like that, it's very tiring. Holding the rod, 
kick now the brake is because your, your brakes just moving all the time. But um, I always like to, to anchor it up. Then you can sort of just relax and enjoy your session, you know.